In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an HTML element to any page within Mag+. Plus. Here I've got a standard story page, and I've got this blank area that I'd like to fill with a slideshow rather than a single static image. The way I do that is really easy. I just draw a box the size that I want that element to be. I make sure it's on the layer that I want it to be on. We can have HTML on either layer. Here it's on the B layer that I want. And then under Object Type, just pull down that menu and choose HTML. I can still have all of the pinning and snapping, all the regular settings on that. Then click File, and you're going to point it at the HTML document that is the element you want to pull in. And that will grab all of the other images and jQuery and, and all of those things that you have. I'm going to have that scale to fit the box that I've drawn. And now let's just hit Fast Review and see what this looks like. It's building that MIB quickly. It's going to send it out. I'm using the emulator here, but you'd see this on your iPad. And there's my slideshow. You can see it's a swipeable sort of slideshow. Fits that space really nicely that I want. Now I'll show you another little trick in here in case this didn't quite fit. You can actually still put an image inside of that HTML designated box that you've made. So here I've just grabbed the first slide. I've made the content fit it proportionally. And then I'm going to choose this other fit frame to content. That's a way that you can make sure that the box that you've drawn is exactly the size of the slideshow that you want to have, the images that you've already made. Again, you can resize that box, fill the frame to it. Now hit Fast Review. You're going to see this is a little bit bigger now. But it's still going to fill out that frame nicely so I won't end up with any black edges or any sort of background showing through there. So that's a really simple element. Now I want to show you how you can do an actually much more complicated element or an example of a much more complicated HTML page that we did. This is actually for one of our client magazines outside. It had a really cool ad from REI they wanted in their summer buyer's guide. They wanted to have hot spots on it, and they actually wanted a different layout to load with each orientation when the user turns it. So we did it all in HTML. So I'm going to open up this page, and on this page, this is just an InDesign document with one box filled with that HTML element. And I'll hit the review so you can see what this actually looks like on the device. So you can see it's got our little hot spots with pop-up captions. Again, that's all programmed in HTML, CMS, CSS positioning. When I turn the device, it loads a completely different layout. That's using a, the standard uh, HTML call to load a different image on browser resize. And to make that happen, I've just checked a little box over here called resize on rotate. It's pretty simple to do. In the rest of this video, I just want to show you how I actually made that slideshow using a pretty cool new feature that we have that we call the HTML Feature Builder. Now, these things are pretty easy to hand code, but let's say you don't have any HTML experience and you just want one of these features. Go to feature.magplus.com and log in with the same login that you use on magplus.com when you download our tools the first time. If you don't have an account, go to magplus.com and create one. Now this is still a beta site, so we've only got a few options out here so far, but we'll be filling it out in the months to come. Right now all of our options are around images. We give the project a name and a description. That's because it's going to save it in your own library here, so you can come back, reskin it, put some new images, save the kinds of things you've built to use over and over again. You can pick the size of the element you want. Here I, I know it's going to be a full screen slideshow or a full size slideshow, so I'm just making it the size of my images and you can have any measurement you like. This will show you the few different options we have right now. Again, all image-based. I can have a thumbnail-based gallery. I can have a scrubbable, like a 360-degree rotation. I'm going to choose the simple swipeable slideshow. So I just select that, hit the Next button. And that's going to take me to a page where I can upload all of my images. And you can actually batch upload your stuff here. So scroll up to where I put this. I'll just pick a couple here so you don't have to wait too long to watch them upload. Now these can be different sizes than what you've chosen and the system will actually scale them down when you go ahead and export this the final time. In this case I've already gone into Photoshop and made these images the size that I want them because I've also used Photoshop to add the captions on top of them. So once all these images are uploaded I can click Save and now it's going to load a screen where I can choose some settings and I can actually still do a little work on those images if I want to. I can recrop them. I can throw them away. I can 
could take a look at them a little bit bigger. And you'll see all my information up above there. Now here again, I can change the information, the size around it. If I click on settings, I can change that feature. Let's say I decide I really want a thumbnail. I can change whether the images snap or flow, and even the transition speed here. Some of these things we're not really using yet, like the theme, but you can have a background color and background image. And if you want to see what all these things are going to look like, just hit the preview button. It's going to open it up right in a browser window. This will give you a pretty good approximation of what the functionality is going to look like when it lands in the page, because it's simply running in the iPad's WebKit browser when you import it into Mag+. Plus. Once you're happy with everything, just click Export. That's going to build your file, and it's going to very quickly download it. You can see it's a pretty small package. If I go out to my Downloads folder, open up this Build folder that I just got, you'll see what's inside of it here. It's my index and all of my assets, including my jQuery, and then an actual PNG image I can use to place in that box just as a placeholder. So that's how easy it is to add HTML to any MagPlus page. Look forward to seeing what you guys do with this.